la chambre avant qu'on va dans les raids. Good luck. Tough luck. Two young fighters, ages 22 and 23, respectively. Both are tall for the division, around five feet, nine inches tall. And experience, that goes to Baranda. But the power, the knockout percentage goes to Thomas Shabbat. He is perfect, seven for seven. Tall southpaw puncher, a nightmare for many guys. Miranda clearly willing to mix it up here. Oh, oh. takes a right hand. No, it was count. He's taking the. Doesn't believe it should have been counted. He's convinced it was a slip. There was a right hand though that was concurrent with the slip. So the referee airing on the safe side. Shabazz 7 0, Miranda 4 and 2. Just missed with the left that I think would have done some damage then. Such an offensive guy, he's got to be do his due diligence and make sure he doesn't take anything. Just wanting to load up that left. Mm. Pawing with the right, and you wonder when he's going to strike. Tried to there. Yeah, if he, when he cuts the ring down, that, that could be something that's very important to him because he has that power. Baranda's not afraid. A lot of those punches being picked off by the gloves of Shabbat, but mm -hmm. Baranda being aggressive. Yes, uh, what, one thing I remember when I was talking to Mark Ramsey and also uh, Camila Stefan, they were both telling me about the incredible work ethic that uh, Shabbat's got. We don't necessarily see that because his fights go early with the power, but it's something that I, I look forward to as the fights go a little bit, when they go a bit longer to see how that work, you know, that, that he's still able to fight at a fast pace as the fight goes on. Yeah, that did look like a knockdown there. It did, yep. You see Shabbat picking off a lot of punches with the gloves, side of the head. But Miranda willing to throw. Like you say, as long as he doesn't leave himself open for a some sort of powerful counter. But it was good that he was able to pick those off. Round number two, Miranda. Thomas Shabbat. Ooh, big body shot by Miranda. He looks like he's trying to get Shabbat's uh, attention here. I think he got it. 
is marked up slightly to the on the, on the left side. A lot of the movement sort of giving Shabbat a bit of trouble to be able to pin him down to, to get his best shots off. Might serve Shabbat well to go to the body to try and stop that movement. Shabbat trying to force the issue here now. You've got to love these Mexicans. They don't often come and go quietly into the night. They, uh, they, they want to fight. Those arms hooked. The referee warns him, says, don't hold on. shot there from Shabbat. He's done good work in the corners here when he's had the chance. <laughs> Round two. He, he was trying to be defensively responsible. He had his left hand up a couple of times to try and, as he was so aggressive, it, so he didn't get caught with anything. I think with Shabbat, he's so good offensively. It's just that it's the little things like cutting off the corners and a guy who's going to give him a lot of movement is going to give him trouble. We can we can kind of see that. Left hand held high. Round three coming up. Scheduled for six. <laughs> Both fighters throwing punches here. Miranda seems to be, other than the first round when he was down, he seems to be taking the power. Shabbat at 7-0 has never been in a fight that's gone beyond this round, round three. Did very well then. Shabbat took that and had to move back. Difficult to get the leverage in there, though.
Ooh. A reminder there for Shabbat to keep his hands up. Without doubt, Miranda's best round so far. Half of round three still to come. Probably the most resistance that Shabbat has, has, has faced as a, as a pro. Shabbat on the break. Right, left. Oh, he took a good right hand over the top then, Shabbat. Shabbat gets busy, Baranda bangs right back. And he's hanging in. He's a tough guy. Step. Referee says, don't lead with the head. And for the first time ever in his pro career, Thomas Shabbat will go to round number four. A, a good learning curve. Sometimes you can fall in love with your own power. And I think this is one of those fights where it maybe tapers that and shows Shabbat that actually there's always someone who can take that shot. Cut over the, over the left eye. I think I put the hex on him. I did a new faces for Ring TV um, just yesterday, and now all of a sudden he's the first time he goes past three. Might have been on the on that. Looked like a headbutt late in the round from Veranda that caught him side of the face. I think he needs to kind of step back and give himself a little bit of work for room for his work. <laughs> Big left to start the round. Oh, right hand from Miranda on the break. Took it well. Seems like both guys had words dropped into their ears as they both come out here. Mouthpiece out, they will clean that. Trying to target that cut. It's above the left eye of Shabbat. More on the side of the eye, I guess. Definitely good to go to the body. Having to eat one or two to get inside, though. to eat a right hand then as well, Shabbat. One minute to go here in round number four. Scheduled for six.
pressure, but it's not slowing down. That's that's something we can see. Still got that high output. Good, nice left hand there. Shabak keeps coming forward. I think little respect for the, the power of Miranda. He's taken some shots and knows he can take them well. Yeah, he hasn't really looked shook up at all. No. So thus he keeps moving forward. A little bit of a stumble there. Not a good look to the judges, though. No. That's round four in the books. I'd say a good one for Baranda. Yes, absolutely. I think uh, early on, I think when he when maybe he did feel the power, you saw him moving around a lot. Now he's not moving quite as much, but he does look comfortable with the power. He doesn't look as though I can't say I've really seen noticeably hurt. If he is, he's got a good poker face. For sure. Sometimes you've got to win ugly and, um, and and look good next time. It's a good, maybe a good learning curve for him. I think maybe he's caught between doing really trying to get the knockout to keep his his perfect record, as opposed to maybe giving himself time and letting it come naturally. But that's sort of he's 22 years old. These things sort. Of they can come as you you mature. So round five. Shabbat eats a shot. Constantly moving around him. He's never a stationary target for Shabbat to, to land on. Oh, oh, right oh. oh my! And Miranda. Miranda comes over, gets in the face of Shabbat. Shabbat's in a lot of trouble he here. Does look very hurt. There's a long he time left. He is wobbly. He is wobbly. Boy, he took one. Left. I don't know. He took a hard shot, did Shabbat. And now he's trying to hold on. Big upset brewing here. Absolutely. Miranda throwing. And Shabbat goes down and, again. And Miranda continues to taunt him. Not going down with the locals very well, is it? The taunting. It is not, but. He looks more clear eyed now than he did before. Can he hold on? No, doesn't look like he's going to be able to. Referee watching closely here. Shabbat at 7-0 in danger of something devastating here. This is a harsh lesson to learn. Miranda on the attack, Shabbat trying to hold him off. Got to hang in for 30 more seconds. He's got his hands up. The Mexican corner going crazy over here. We're right beside them, and they are encouraging their fighter to finish this. Shabbat Sh digging in. Shabbat hanging in. Now he looks like he's got himself back together, and the crowd go wild. 
Shabbat stepping forward now and finishing strong in the round. And Miranda looks wobbly. Oh, what a round. Wow. Excellent rounds. I give him crazy credit for showing the heart. That was a very heavy knockdown very early in the rounds. And for about a minute, he looked like he was in real trouble. So you start thinking about scoring now. That was definitely 10-8 in yes. favor of Miranda. Yes. If he won yet another round somewhere along the way, this fight could be even going to six. Yes. Oh, very. For that split second, he left himself open for that right hand, and it met at just the perfect time and dropped Shabbat. And he went down very, very heavily. He's, uh, he's, he landed just in front of us, and his head came against the rope, and it looked like it was going to be very tough for him to, to get through the round at that point. It looks like he's made him mad. He's bouncing on his feet. He's got his legs back together. Let's and... see. Let's see. The crowd's into this. They're on their feet. Round six. This one totally in the balance now. You know, Shabbat looks clear-eyed. He does. So does Miranda. I thought he was in a bit of trouble late in the round. It was back and forth. A French broadcast is at 10-7 the last round, such was the domination of Miranda. So you just start to do the math, and you realize this one comes down to this yes. round. A definite reminder to Shabbat to keep his hands up with that. Right hand them. Shabbat. Left hand from Miranda. To when the body. Sh when Shabbat's landing his shots, he's definitely covering up better, though. Keep in mind, Miranda was down in round one. Shabbat down twice in round five. Crowd chanting, Shabbat. Less than a minute to go, round six. He certainly seems to want it still, doesn't he? He's really digging in. So we're going to the last 30 seconds of the fight. Who will finish with the biggest flurry here? Here comes Baranda. Baranda scoring, Shabbat back to the body. Time ticking down, and there it is. The end of the fight, what a fight. This could be close, and I think it will be. Well, Shabbat with the 10-8 round in one. Miranda with the 10-7 round, we think, in five. So those middle rounds in round six, how do you score it? Who do you like? To the judges, we will go. I mean, definitely the knockdown, the, 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 certainly the first one was very, very heavy, and it looked like the fight may be over. So that was, that was more. Shabbat was more hurt than we saw Baranda. Final round was pretty even. Mm.
there was a point in the round before where Shabbat seemed to be hurt, and all of a sudden he just his, his legs got back. And about the last 30 seconds, he dug in, and right in front of where we're doing the broadcast, he let his hands go, and he seemed to. Th at that point, Baranda was a bit more unsteady and trying to cover up. Very entertaining six rounds of boxing. Baranda giving Shabbat everything he can handle, and perhaps more. Could be a harsh lesson he's had to learn in that one. I'll tell you, credit his corner, though. When he went back to that corner, the water on the face, the water in the head, bringing him back and finding his senses in time for round number six. I mean, it wasn't like he had to, he had a long time to go in that round. He really had to dig in, and for a good minute, he was all over the place. Possibly a knockdown from the fight being over. If he'd gone down again, it may well have been over. And here we go. The locals appreciated it anyway. All right, center of the ring, judge's decision. Mesdames, Messieurs, avant d'aller à la décision, une bonne main d'applaudissement pour ces deux guerriers qui se sont livrés d'une incroyable guerre ce soir. Après six rounds, nous allons au quart de pointage pour la décision. After six action packed rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. Les juges remettent des cartes de 57-54, 56-55 et 56-55, tous en faveur du gagnant par décision unanime. The judges scored about 57-54, 56-55 and 56-55, all for the winner by unanimous decision, Thomas Shabbat! Shabbat gets it. Parent are not impressed. Not at all. I was a little bit disappointed that Miranda, when he scored the heavy knockdown, was trying it was straight in.